Good evening. Distinguished graduates, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and all of those gathered here today, it's with deep admiration and unwavering respect that I stand here before you as your building principal. We gather here on this joyous occasion to celebrate the culmination of your high school journey and to reflect upon the path that lies ahead of you. As you embark on this new chapter of your lives, I want to emphasize the profound importance of embracing your diverse skills and knowledge. As you know, Southbridge is a wonderful place. It's full of culture and diversity. In a world that's ever changing, where new challenges and opportunities arise each day, remember that you're blessed to have grown up here. You're fortunate to have grown up in an environment where diversity of thought, diversity of culture, of language, and of spirit is celebrated. Your educational experience at Southbridge High School built upon that foundation and equipped you with the knowledge of math, science, social studies, English, the arts, and technology. But I want you to know that knowledge alone is not enough. In this complex tapestry of existence, it's equally vital to cultivate emotional intelligence and empathy, the ability to understand and connect with individuals from other diverse backgrounds as a cornerstone of a compassionate society. Gandhi once declared the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. By extending a helping hand to those around you, you not only discover your true purpose, but also you contribute to a world that thrives on inclusivity and understanding. As you navigate the labyrinth on the corridors of adulthood, remember the power of relationships and the significance of human connection. The bonds we form, the interactions we share, they shape our experiences and mold our character. Maya Angelou, the revered poet and philosopher, eloquently stated, I've learned that people will forget what you said, but people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Let this truth guide your actions and remind you of the profound impact that you can have on others through kindness, compassion, and empathy. And while you embark upon this transformative journey, remember how your school experience prepared you to face change. As one of a number of COVID classes, you face challenge more than most. Continue to embrace it. Growth and progress are born out of our willingness to explore uncharted territories, to learn from failure, and to persist in the face of adversity. As you stand on the precipice of infinite possibilities, I hope you remember that this is not a culmination of your learning. It's merely the beginning. The journey that lies ahead is boundless in the quest for knowledge, understanding, and personal growth is lifelong. I challenge you to find new challenges every day and continue to learn. In closing, graduates, as you step into the world beyond the halls of Southbridge High School, embrace the diversity of skills. Embrace your capacity for change, the power of your empathy, and the beauty of human connection. Carry with you the profound impact you can have on others and the impact you can have on the world. Celebrate your uniqueness. Pursue your passions. Let your light shine brightly. Illuminate the path for others to follow. Congratulations, class of 2023. The world eagerly awaits your contributions, your discoveries, your unwavering commitment to lifelong learning. Thank you and congratulations. Please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Oh, 
say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly gleaming And the rocket's red glare Their bombs bursting in air Gave proof flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. No. It is my honor to present to you Dr. Jeffrey Villar, Receiver and Superintendent of Southbridge Public Schools. Good evening. Welcome to Southbridge High School. I want to offer my congratulations to the class of 2023. Uh, this has been one heck of a school year for all of you. Uh, once again, we have a class that's shown incredible resilience hard work and effort, and as you can see, we have nearly 100 graduates behind me this evening, which we're very proud of. I do want to welcome and thank uh, members of the town council and school committee who are sitting here today. Thank you for your presence and support for our schools. But most importantly, our graduates behind us, we need to thank their families uh, because it's their support that's made a huge difference. Their teachers, who I believe are also scattered throughout the audience here this evening, you've made a huge difference. Um, together, we educate children, and together, they'll go forth and change the world for all of us. So I want to congratulate this class. Thank you for your efforts. I look forward to seeing some of you come back and speak to us uh, about the success that I know you're all going to have. So thank you all very much, and congratulations, class of 2023. It is my honor to present to you Dr. Jose Ortiz, 2023-2024 Principal of Southbridge High School. Good evening and buenas noches. Uh, my name is Jose Ortiz and I am the newly appointed principal, very proud newly appointed principal of Southbridge High School beginning next year. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Today we celebrate your achievement and wish you a bright future filled with success and accomplishments. May this be just the beginning of an incredible journey. Congratulations and much success in all future adventures. Well done, graduates. Mi nombre es Jose Ortiz. Yo soy el nuevo principal de Southbridge High School, comenzando el año que viene. Felicitaciones a la clase graduanda de 2023. Hoy celebramos sus logros y les deseamos un futuro brillante, lleno de éxitos y realizaciones. Que este sea el comienzo de un viaje increíble. Felicidades y mucho éxito en todas sus futuras aventuras. En una buena graduandos, congratulations everyone. Southbridge High School Chorus will now sing a musical farewell.
I present to you the class style of Victorian, Renelise Garcia Torres. Good evening, class of 2023, and welcome teachers, family, and friends. It has been a long journey for us and even a longer year for the class of 2023. We have had gone through countless setbacks, losses, tragedies, and just in one school year. Throughout it all, we have stood together, knelt together, and even cried together as a class, as a community. Hope, motivation, and our very own personal integrities were challenged this year. Having to deal with the constant cycling of administration the lack of educators, and to many, an, an unsatisfactory curriculum. But we never stopped, even when, we, when a roadblock presented itself to us. When one English teacher left and another came, we picked up where we left off. When it happened again, we picked up the torch and continued to carry it with us. Speaking of, speaking of picking up a torch, on the very same day that a spirit week came to a close with color wars on Friday, a towering pillar fell upon the ground, shaking our class to its very core. The hit was so devastating that it ripped grief throughout the entire building that day. Whether he was a friend you made in the hallways, whether he was a friend you had a pleasure of growing up with, or just a buddy in class, we, as the class of 2023, while he sleeps in the golden fields, pick up his torch and keep the fire burning as we add his to our flame. As we trailblaze in the future through our own paths, we cannot forget where we came from and who made us who we are today. Teachers, friends, family members, and loved ones. They kept us going through sad and tough times when we didn't have the strength to pick ourselves up. They grabbed us by the hand, even when we didn't want them to. Special shout outs to Ms. Augusto, our former class advisor, who with tears in our eyes, we had to say our, farewell our farewells, and who helped this year have the most uplifting moments it could have. For that, we all owe her thanks. We are pioneers blazing and paving the way for others and ourselves. We are the pioneers of 2023. We leave behind a path for the pioneers of tomorrow as we pave our own. For all of you who are here today, I extend my thanks to all of you for being here to celebrate this moment with us. That's all it is, seniors, a leap of faith. Moving to the future with the certainty that things will be okay and it will eventually work out for all of us. Buenas noches, clase de 2023, y bienvenidos maestros, familiares y amigos. Ha sido un largo viaje para nosotros y un año aún más largo para la clase de 2023. Hemos tenido que pasar por innumerables atrasos, pérdidas y tragedias en solo un año escolar. A lo largo de todo esto, nos hemos mantenido unidos, nos hemos arrodillado juntos e incluso llorado juntos como clase y como comunidad. La esperanza, la motivación y nuestra propia integridad personal fueron desafiadas este año teniendo que lidiar con el círculo constante de la administración, la falta de educadores y para muchos un plan de estudios insatisfactorio. Pero nunca nos detuvimos, ni siquiera cuando se nos presentó un obstáculo. Cuando un profesor de inglés se fue y otro vino, continuamos donde lo dejamos. Cuando sucedió de nuevo, recogimos la antorcha y continuamos llevándola con nosotros. Hablando de levantar una antorcha, el mismo día que una semana de espíritu escolar llegó a su fin con guerras de colores el viernes, un pilar importante cayó al suelo, sacudiendo a nuestra clase hasta la médula. El golpe fue, fue tan devastador que ese día se extendió el dolor por todo el edificio y por toda nuestra comunidad. Ya sea un amigo que hiciste en los pasillos, un amigo con el que tuviste el placer de crecer o simplemente un compañero de clases, nosotros, como la clase de 2023, mientras él duerme en los campos dorados, recogemos su antorcha y mantenemos el fuego ardiendo, mientras agarramos la suya a nuestra llama. A medida que avanzamos en el futuro, a través de nuestros propios caminos, no podemos olvidar dónde venimos y quiénes nos hicieron quienes somos hoy. 
maestros, amigos, familiares y seres queridos. Nos ayudaron a pasar momentos tristes y difíciles en los que no teníamos fuerzas para levantarnos. Nos agarraron de la mano incluso cuando no queríamos. Un saludo especial a la señora Agostro, nuestra ex asesora de clase, de quien con lágrimas en los ojos tuvimos que despedirnos y quien ayudó a que este año tuviera los momentos más eficientes que pudo haber tenido. Por eso todos le debemos las gracias. Somos pioneros, ardiendo y allanando el camino para los demás y para nosotros mismos. Somos los pioneros del 2023. Dejamos atrás un camino para los pioneros del mañana mientras pavimentamos el nuestro. Para todos los que están aquí hoy, extiendo mi agradecimiento a todos ustedes por estar aquí para celebrar este momento con nosotros. Eso es todo, clase graduanda. Un acto de fe. Avance hacia el futuro con la certeza de que las cosas estarán bien y eventualmente funcionarán para todos. Southbridge High School Concert Band will now play a musical interlude. Thank you.
It is my honor to present to you our keynote speaker, Ms. Rosa Morales Brito. I'm a little bit short, so hopefully you guys can all hear me. With that being said, I know you have already heard this multiple times, but welcome and hello, class of 2023, parents, families, friends, and staff. Yo sé que ya han escuchado esto varias veces hoy, pero hola y bienvenido a la clase de 2023, a nuestros familiares que están aquí presentes, a las amistades y a todos los empleados de la escuela. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos hoy. It is truly an honor and privilege to be here today as an SHS alumni. I can only imagine how excited and nervous you might all feel today, for I too sat in that chair a few years back. Es un verdadero honor regresar y estar aquí como una graduada de esta escuela superior. Me imagino lo nerviosos que deben estar todos, pues yo también estuve sentada acá no hace tantos años atrás. But one thing I can tell you for sure is that I never thought that I would be back here, standing right here, being your keynote speaker. Una cosa que en verdad le puedo decir a todos ustedes hoy acá es que nunca pensé que iba a volver acá a estar parada para darle un discurso en este día de graduación. And let me tell you, and let me challenge you all today, to think of yourself up here in the next few years. What will you do to get up here? And what will you say to the next graduating class? Y hoy, lo quiero retar a todos los graduantes que están acá, en pensar que ustedes pueden ser lo siguiente que estarían aquí parados a dar un discurso para una graduación. ¿Qué dirían ustedes en este momento? ¿Y qué van a hacer ustedes en su futuro para llegar aquí a dar este discurso? Southbridge is known as a small town, and many have misconceptions of what we're capable of. I encourage you all to take pride in our community and be an example of what we can truly be. I too come from the Southbridge public school system and was able to get a double degree in psychology and Spanish and will be graduating with my master's degree this December. Southbridge is recognized as a small town, and not many people know about all we are capable of. And today, I want to ask all of you that you take pride and honor in our city and where you are. I also come from Southbridge. I graduated from all the schools here, and I was able to get to the university and I did a double degree in psychology and Spanish. And this December, thanks to God, I graduated as a teacher and a social worker. And I want to thank all of you for coming and sharing your thoughts with us. Show others that our town can also lead to technicians, nurses, teachers, flight attendants, engineers, and whatever else you all want to be. Enseñenle al resto de nuestra comunidad que nuestro pueblo igual da maestros, enfermeras, técnicos. Ustedes pueden ser lo que ustedes quieran ser. Show others that all the hard work you have done to get here today is not the end, but only a part of the process that will lead you to becoming your best self. Graduation is not the end, it's only the beginning. Enseñenle que todo el trabajo que ustedes han hecho para llegar aquí hoy no es el final. La graduación es solamente el principio de un largo futuro. It might not be an easy road, but getting here wasn't either, and you all did it. Throughout the next steps you take in your future, please remember that we as individuals can't control what is said or done around us, but you can control how you react and what you do with that information. You should be your biggest fan and advocate. And now that you're starting this new journey, make every day count. No matter how hard today is, just remember 
that every day is a new opportunity, and tomorrow you will have the opportunity to start fresh and do it better. Los próximos pasos no van a ser los pasos más fáciles que van a tener. Pero por favor, recuerden que todos los días es una oportunidad nueva. Mañana será otro día y mañana tendrán la oportunidad de hacer lo mejor que hoy. Nunca se den por vencido. I encourage you to ask for help throughout your path. If that's being going to college, doing training, working, or taking some time off to discover what your next step will be. The next step after high school can be scary, but you're not alone, and there's a lot of people cheering you and who want you to be successful. Le pido a todos los que están acá hoy que durante sus próximos pasos pidan ayuda. Ustedes no están solos. Y hay muchas personas que quieren verlo, lograr sus sueños y ser aún más grande de lo que son hoy. Por favor, pidan ayuda cuando lo necesiten. Don't, sorry, I just said that. Don't rush. Take some time to breathe, for time flies. And remember that if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. And wherever you go, go with all your heart. No tengan prisa. Tomen su tiempo para respirar porque el tiempo se va muy rápido. Y acuérdense que si la oportunidad no viene a la puerta, crean una puerta y abran una puerta y abran oportunidades. Y por favor, donde sea que vayan, vayan con todo su corazón. And before I go, I would like to leave you all with some quotes that have helped guide my life to get me here to where I am today. Y antes de irme, quisiera decirles unas cuantas frases que me han ayudado a llegar al punto de mi vida que estoy aquí hoy. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Vas a perder 100% de las oportunidades que nunca tomes. Even the smallest person can change the course of history. Hasta la persona más pequeña puede cambiar el curso de nuestra historia. Failure does not define who you are. If one door closes, many more will open. Cada vez que cierra una puerta, se abrirán muchas más. And this one is very important. It's by Walt Disney. I'm sure you all know Disney. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Y esta es por Disney. Y dice, todos nuestros sueños se pueden hacer realidad si tenemos la fortaleza para seguirlos. And most importantly, change begins with you. Y lo más importante, el cambio empieza contigo mismo. At the end of the day, just be your best self, make yourself proud, and always aim for the stars. Al final del día, sean su mejor versión de sí mismo. Siéntanse orgullosos de ustedes mismos. Y siempre sigan a la estrella. El cielo es el límite. Congratulations, class of 2023. Felicidades, class of 2023. You have made it. Thank you for that wonderful address. Dr. Villar, I present to you the members of the Southbridge High School Commencement Class of 2023, who have fulfilled all requirements necessary for graduation as prescribed by the state of Massachusetts and the Southbridge Public Schools. At this time, I will invite Assistant Principal Mr. Tim Hippert to introduce the graduates. Mr. Hippert. Guess this is the part you've all been waiting for, huh? 
First off, we have the class valedictorian. She won the English Award Medal, is the photo editor in the theater medal, Emma Rose Poloni. The class salutatorian, she won the math and Spanish medals, Reina Lise Garcia Torres. Recipient of the Visual Arts Medal, Geranci Ashante Santana Jimenez. Cole Bryce St. Laurent. Ari Diaz. So I got you. Courtney Ariel Di Bartolo. Adriel Olivo Rivera. Annalise Alondra Almeida Merced. Blake Charles Andrews. Lucas Joseph Andrews. Deshaun Kirby Baldwin. Daniel Elias Batista. Jameer David Batista Ortiz. Right up there, bud. Mariana Lee Beaudry. Jamar Tyreek Bell, Jr. Elias Jamar Bell. Janielle Miguel Berrios Ortiz. Stephen Thomas Bissett, Jr. Aiden Howe Bonfacesson. Nathan Mark Brown. Richard Lewis Camacho. Loving memory of Nathaniel Castillo.
Emma Angelise Colon. Genesis Colon. Sydney Iris Corbin. Anthony Jason Corley. Chad James Coughlin. Julian Antonio Cruz Machado. Ivanel Alexis Cruz. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Davis. Jasmine Deacons. Jerick Sale Diaz Santiago. <laughs> Alexander Jordan Diaz. David Matthew Dunkel. Shanice Escobar. Crystal Falcon Rodriguez. Annalise Mariana Figueroa. Leilani Franceki. Sarah Gerana Aspita. Jalen Rebecca Gibo. Janaya Christine Gibson. Brianna Star Gomez. Alexander Cameron Gonzalez. Marissa Mary Emily Gonzalez. Isaiah Irvin Graham. <laughs> Teal Alejandro Hernandez.
Ephraim Xavier Inglés. Jean Carlos Jimenez Colon. Gianna Jade Johnson. Eva Kusi. Peyton Allen LeDuc. Alondra Nicole Lopez Melendez. Jasmine Anais Maldonado. Camille Angelica Martinez Cruz. Gisette Marie Mateo. <laughs> Ninoshka Marie Matias Torres. <laughs> Randy Armando Melendez. Jonathan Miranda. <laughs> Arnaldo Miranda Morales. Aubrey Moing. <laughs> Nisha Morales Rojas. Raymond Ernest Moreau. Aria Lacora Moses. Carlos Javier Nazario Cruz. Carlos Jamil Negron. Namiliange Marie Nieves. Richard Donald Nieves. Yeah. 
Next up is the recipient of the Science Medal, Jaslyn Rita Ortiz. Adriana Ruby Ortiz Concepcion. Victoria Annalise Pacheco. Jonathan Edward Perez. Ella Alexis Pierce. Gismerly Polanco Jimenez. Arilis Nicole Ramos. John Manuel Ramos. Jarette Haiti Ramos. Gendry Anahis Reyes Tavares. The recipient of the Chorus Medal, Maya Elizabeth Reyes. <laughs> Milan Jada Rios. Eduardo Jose Rebo. Alec <clears throat> excuse me. Alexis Lynn Rodriguez. Recipient of the Graphics, Arts, and Social Studies medals, Damian Anthony Rodriguez. Recipient of the Recording Production medal, Jaden Rodriguez. Luis David Rodriguez. Jordani Eliud Rodriguez Serino. Destiny Marie Rosario Lopez. Yeah, 
Ariana Santos. Anthony Alexander Santos Perez. Melanie Christine Serrano Vera. Alexis Javier Serra Ramos. Nathan Cruz Silva. Recipient of the Band and Physical Education Medals, Kyle James St. Laurent. Livinette Torado. Maya Curis Veras Rosario. Isaiah Scott Weskovich. Elvin Xavier Z Zayas Rivera. Last guy, huh? Jaden Anthony Zico. And there you have your class of 2023. I present to you the class valedictorian, Emma Poloni. Hello, faculty, staff, friends, family, and most importantly, my fellow classmates. It is the end of a decade and the start of an age for us graduates. Before I talk about the class of 2023 as a whole and all of our accomplishments, I want to first celebrate the life of a classmate who isn't here to physically walk the stage with us. Nate was a ray of light to our class, and I'm sure all of us can agree with that. Whether he was your lab partner in physics, a friend, a fellow teammate, or just simply someone in your classes, he was sure to bring some sort of laugh or spark of happiness into your day. He was always able to bring our class together, and we are stronger today because of him. I now ask for all of those in attendance to have a moment of silence to honor our fellow graduate and give him an opportunity to walk the stage. Thank you and long live Nate. A lot of people like to say that their class will be remembered forever, but they weren't a part of this class. I can safely say that we will be remembered for our week of senior pranks that had people drenched in water multiple times, <laughs> the energy that we have on any dance floor that ends up with classmates in the air, or our senior skit where Spider-Man met Southridge's very own dinosaur. 
When we help name Mr. Hippert's class skeletons or Ms. Denton's statues, all of the notes written on Mr. Dolan's desk and how we would use his fridge. The pictures tacked on Ms. LaFleur's bulletin board dating back to sixth grade where a lot of these friendships were made and that really bad picture from eighth grade. I'm gonna remember a lot of people by looking at, back at pictures and for reasons like buying me a water bottle at a concert. We can also be remembered for our strength. Everybody's been through tough times, believe me, <laughs> been there, done that, but the class of 2023 took those moments and used them as fuel to keep going. I could go into strong detail about all the things that shouldn't, shouldn't have happened to us, but I know you all wanna see the tassels turn, so I won't. To the teachers in the audience, thank you. Thank you for asking us what our favorite ice cream was on the first day, for taking some pretty fire pictures, for letting us hide out in your office when we just ne needed a break, and for believing in us. I want to especially thank the teachers who even though they don't work here anymore, they still find ways to help us. Also a special shout out to our coaches who are a different type of teacher and had to endure the long bus rides with us, especially the ones where we remembered our speakers. Finally, to the underclassmen here today, thank you for being our friends and family, especially during senior year. The memories would have been empty without a lot of you. For me, I'm glad that you needed rides after school because who else would have driven in a snowstorm with me just to see Ant-Man? You're on your own, kid, but just know that you have people who believe in you right here. Now it's time for our next chapter to begin. Whether it be starting college in the fall, going straight to work, joining the, joining the army, or taking a gap year, the class of 2023 is going to succeed and we will be remembered. Would like to add one more thank you to everyone in the audience, everyone who couldn't be here and is watching at home. Thank you to the faculty and the staff, the parents, the class of 2023. Now is the time that you're, you've all been waiting for. Graduating class of 2023, you may turn your tassels. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming and have a wonderful rest of your night. No.